Hello everyone, welcome on this new tutorial. I'm happy to be here with you today. So today we're gonna learn how to do the clockwise transition. So it's a pretty dope transition to do like for a music video or showcase or events. Yeah, it doesn't matter for which kind of projects you're using it, but yeah, it's a pretty dope transition. So the first step is gonna be to record a watch in 4K if possible to get the maximum quality while we're gonna scale it up. So make sure to record the watch facing the camera. So we don't want to get like an angle or something. Otherwise it's going to be too much complicated. So here I have my shots. The first shots with Taiga and the second one with a watch. So I'm just going to hide the first one. And I'm going to freeze frame where I find it's good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate these shots and freeze frame the second layer. And as you can see here, I have my freeze frame layer and then the rest of the shots. So once we have that, we're just going to go to composition, save frame and Photoshop layer. And once it's done, we're going to jump into Photoshop. So here we are in Photoshop. So now before removing the clock hands, I'm just going to rasterize my layer so I can apply my remove tool. And I can start removing it like this. So you can be more accurate. So for this tutorial, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to we build the watch or something. So yeah, it's up to you if you want to do it, but just note that we're doing like a transition. So it's gonna be moving a lot. We're gonna apply some motion blur. So don't spend too much time on the details. So once it's done, I can just go to exports and quick export as PNG. And now I can import this frame into After Effects. So now that I've imported my layer into After Effects, as you can see here, if I'm hiding it, you can see the second layer with the clock hands and the first one without. So for better understanding of my layer, I'm just gonna rename it. Take this habit, guys, because once you're gonna work with 30 layers or even more, you're gonna get lost, so yeah, better to take this habit. So I'm gonna rename it uh, like no clock hands. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate my layer with the clock hands and I'm gonna duplicate it again and again. So now we have three layers with my clock hands and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a mask for each of the clock hands. So I can start with the first one. As you can see here, the quality of the shot, it's not that good. So I really suggest you, if you're recording a watch to take even closer. But yeah, for this shot is working as well. I'm just giving you some tips for a better transition. So I can mask my second layer. So if you're wondering how I press the mask effect, I'm just pressing G. You can go also into the tools tab and press here the pen tool. All right. And for this one, as you can see here, this one is on the top. So I'm gonna move it to the top and I'm gonna mask it. So now we're just going to apply a bit of feather to each of my mask. So I'm just going to select all my clock hands, press F and I'm going to apply it like a feather of four or something. So what it's going to do is going to smooth the edges. 
So now what we're going to do, we're going to animate the clock hand. So we're just going to move my anchor point for each of these layer to the center of the watch. All right, and I can start animate the clock hands. So I'm going to select the clock hands layer, press R and select the stopwatch to animate. And I'm going to move it to the ends. All right. And I can go like minus three should be okay. Or minus four, let's say. This one, which is the hour, let's say minus one. So now we're having this. We can just adjust a little bit the mask of this one. And now what we're going to do. Okay, we're having a little bit of issue also right here. I'm just going to apply the motion blur effects. So now I will go to the speed graph because now it's a constant speed, but I want to have a speed pretty fast at the beginning and going slow at the end. So to do that, I'm selecting all of these three key frame, going to the graph editor and I will ease, ease, take this one and drag it to the left. And as you can see here, my speed rotation is going crazy at this point and it's going lower at the end. And now we're having this nice animation. I can just cut by using Command Shift D and we have this nice clock animation. So now that we have done the first part, I'm just gonna pre-compose we can call it watch animation. Get back to my first shot. And now we're going to do the transition to the watch. So to do that, I'm just going to mask out my watch. So again, press G on your keyboard. I'm going to invert my mask and apply some feather. All right. So I'm going to move the anchor point to the middle. Press S to change the scale. I'm going to move the keyframe over here. And I'm going to start scale until I don't see the watch like this. So I'm having a shot like this now, which is weird, of course, but we've not finished. I'm going to change the speed graph. Again, we do the same high speed at the beginning. And we're going slow at the end. All right, now I can duplicate my watch animation. I can remove the mask and I can change the opacity. So I'm going to press T, enable the stopwatch, and we're going to go zero at the beginning and 100% at the end. So I can even change my scale of both layer once the clock animation is finished and we're having something like this which is already pretty cool but still have some details so now the next part as you can see here the first shot is not moving with the watch so i want to get my shots that scale out with the watch so to do that i'm just gonna parent my first shot to my layer of the watch animation and now it's moving with the watch so if you're not seeing the parent link just go over here right click click on columns and click parent and link 
So now we have a little issue because my shot doesn't fill my watch. So to do that, I'm just going to the effects and presets. And I'm going to apply the emotional tide effects and I'm going to stretch my edge, click on my edges. And here we have a pretty clean transition. So now the last part, as you can see here, we see the difference between my animation of the clock and the rest of the shots because my mask wasn't that perfect. So we have different options here. So the option I'm gonna give you is to apply uh, like a glow transition. So I'm just gonna increase the glow threshold, enable stopwatch, press U to see my stopwatch and it's changing over here. So I'm gonna move my keyframe over here. I'm gonna duplicate it, move it over here and I'm gonna apply my glow effect maybe like this. I can change a little bit the radius and the intensity. So now we should not be able to see the transition. And here we go guys, here we have our nice clockwise transition. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. It doesn't require a lot of skills in After Effects. So yeah, if you want to get any other tutorial or if you like this tutorial, leave a comment below and see you on the next one.